Hello, beautiful souls. Elena here. We are right in the middle of the global response to the coronavirus and really experiencing a lot of things that we don't normally experience. It's definitely an unusual time. Uh, <clears throat> and it's on a global scale, which is part of why it's so unusual. Uh, of course, we have um, certain responses which are, are quite normal, like we're responding with fear because our biological systems are being threatened and, and that's the moment where the biology goes, ah, do something. So we have that going on and we can see that all over the world, people responding with a lot of fear. And there's an invitation to kind of deal with that and work through it. Another big invitation I'm finding is to um, stay open-minded and do the best I can to really listen to a really wide um, array of information. A lot of different opinions coming in on a whole lot of things like the economy, uh, health, um, society, politics. There's just a lot of, of talk around, a lot of things we can consume, a lot of people giving their opinions, and there definitely is a wide variety of opinions being given. And so, of course, any time information comes in, uh, my mind and emotions uh, judge that information as true and matching my experience or not true, not matching my experience. And that's a normal thing for the mind to do. It's, you know, how we how we move through the world. Like, yes, this makes sense. No, this doesn't. Um, I think that's that's OK. Uh, then the next thing we can do, and here's something I'm going to offer to you that's been really helpful for me. I'm really interested in, in different people's ideas, especially the ones that I don't agree with, right? That, I'm, that my judging mind is like, eh, not good. <laughs> this person's crazy or whatever, uh, at least wrong. <laughs> I'm really interested in um, doing my best during this time because so much information is coming in. I, I'm really interested to, to um, build this muscle of being able to listen to people that I don't agree with and stay open. And how do I stay open? I do this. I challenge myself to understand why does this person think or feel the way they do? You know, can I really take in what they're saying and the information that they're presenting and understand it from their viewpoint? Am I able to make rational or feeling sense, emotional sense out of what they're presenting? And that is really all I want to do. I'm not trying to make them right or wrong. I don't need to agree with them or disagree with them. That's not what I'm doing. That's already happened. Now what I want to do though is, okay, this person thinks this thing and can I understand why? Can I, un can I begin to understand, you know, how they, how they reached this idea? and make sense of it to me in that way. And this is an amazing thing to be doing because it's allowing me to, to take in, absorb information that before I might be like, oh, I don't even wanna waste my time with this. This person is just wrong. And instead to listen to that person and begin to understand where they're coming from. And that has been super helpful during this uh, COVID-19 time because there is so much information and it's really helping me broaden my perspective and understand and I think get a much more clear idea of what's actually happening. Because, you know, I get a little bit from this person, 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 and eventually my own ideas and my own way of thinking and feeling, you know, is much better informed and so I just want to encourage you to play with that and I just want to give you it's like a little game if you want to play with that if you're not already um, super successful at that it can be just a fun way to kind of build that muscle you know <laughs> why does this crazy person think that way <laughs> it's fun all right so I hope you're having a beautiful spring day that's Yay, spring, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, uh, things are blooming here in the French Alps. It's awesome time of year. So I hope you're having also a beautiful spring wherever you are. And take care and uh, lots of love and light and see you next time.